So, Dara, it's uh, it's good to see you again. Good to talk to you. And what's uh, fight week once again? Yeah, another one came in fast. But tell me this now. We're just a couple of days out. Uh, how's cutting weight going for you? Because it's it's probably the thing that fighters, be it a boxer, be it mixed martial arts, be it anybody that's in that game, it's it's the bit that they don't <coughs> like. How's it how's it going for you? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> so I'm dropping back down to featherweight for this one. So it's uh. Usually I would fight at 155 pounds, so this is 145, so it's a 10 pound drop. So it's been, I've had to be a that's bit a, more. That's strict. a lot. It is a lot. It's a big drop. Um, so really I've been dieting since November, and uh, this week now I'm I'm getting very very little salads and chicken and smoothies. So it's it's tough. Yep. The body needs fuel. How's the mind when you're going through all this? Um, I'm I'm excited for afterwards of what I'm going to eat. That's what I'm I'm daydreaming <laughs> about here at the minute. So, but uh, you're always you're always excited for the food, and then once you start cutting the water, the water takes over. That's that's the most important thing. You'd be excited yeah. to get a weed drink of water at all. Yeah. you'll make the featherweight the 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 required weight. No problem, will you? Uh it's going to be tough, but you know I'll get there. Like it's uh. Mental toughness is a big part of it, so it's. I think now at the minute I'm, what would be, about sixteen pound over at the minute, so I weigh in on uh, Friday morning, so, we take on. Yeah, you have a bit to do between now and Friday, then. So yeah, but listen. Uh, aside from cutting weight and and the difficult part of it, what's the camping like? What's this camping like for you over the last what six to eight weeks? I've had a brilliant camp. Um, I've done a lot of interviews now. This in the lead up to this one, if I'm repeating myself, but I feel like I've done a good job of uh, patching up the holes in my game uh, since my last fight. Uh, wasn't happy with it, so I'm really happy with how this camp went. As I said, I've, I've done a good job of patching up the holes. Uh, I feel at this weight, I feel a lot uh, fitter, and I feel everybody's strong. Technically. Um, we have a great game plan and technically I'm feeling great. So I've, I've had a brilliant camp. Can't complain. Just going back to that last fight. Yes, you got your second one, but you weren't happy with it. What What were the holes? What were the problems? What did you, what do you have to fix there? Um, the main, the main issue was I was, I was hunting for the finish. Um, do you know, I, I, before that fight, I had 11 fights, 11 finishes and, uh, all week I was being asked how long he's going to last. It wasn't if he, if I was going to win or how I was. It was how long he was going to last, and that kind of be. I, I forgot the game plan that became finish him, and uh, it was just an all round sloppy performance. So I learned a lot from that. It's you know it's nice to get the finishes, but uh, for this one I'm going to go in there and be more calculated. And if the finish comes, I'll take it. But it's, I just want. Uh, I want a crisper performance all around. Yeah. So the approach is different to this one than it was to the to the previous two under the Bellator banner. Yeah, yeah. I think this this one will be I'll be more efficient with my energy. That's that's the main thing I'm looking for. Okay. What about your opponent, uh, Dorvel Jordan, two and two? Um, what sort of opposition is he going to be for you? Is he going to be difficult, Dara? What What are you expecting? Because I'm sure you've watched him. Uh, well, yeah, I haven't watched too much on him. I usually leave that to John and Dave, my coaches, and uh, they break him down for me and make a game plan going from there. Um, now, uh, like you know, I see in the bookies there, I'm I'm a one to nine favorite, but uh, you know, a fight's a fight, and anything can happen. You know, every opponent's dangerous in one way or another. Um, from watching him, he looks like he's going to be kind of frustrating the fight because he'll be, he doesn't engage too much. He'll engage for a few shots, and then he'll be back running. He'll be. He'll be moving away for 10, 15 seconds and then he'll throw another couple of shots. He's always dancing around. So I think that'll be a wee bit frustrating, but I can't get lured into his game. Yeah. Um, obviously looking to go to go three and oh, but from a from a career point of view, obviously you're involved in the prelims and, and Bellator two nine one this weekend. Uh, if you were gonna move up with the victories, how long do you think it's gonna take you, Dara, to get to the to the main stage and the main card in Bellator? Um, well, we, we have a lot of uh, big names in Ireland here now with Bellator, you know. Um, it's, uh, it's tough competition getting on the main guard with Bellator. So I, I I think maybe could be three, four more wins might see me on the main card. And, you know, even that would be early enough. So no rush. Yeah, no rush. Um, Away from 
I suppose the fighting and the prep for this fight. I, I was watching a couple of your un- interviews over over the last week or so. Uh, you were away in Iceland too at, at one stage doing a bit of training. Um, were you sort of mixing a bit of leisure time along with with the training, Dara? What was going on in Iceland? Well, uh, me, me and my wee brother decided we would go over. Um, we took an ocean on Saturday and we we booked it and left on the uh, Monday morning. So, uh, Gunnar Nelson, who's who's also under John Kavanagh, um, he trains in SBG here and there. So, he's over now at the minute actually getting ready for UFC London. But I trained with him in the past and uh, I wanted to go over there after my last fight and just get a couple of hard weeks training. In. And, uh, you know, we... we we were busy with our time. Like I tried to slot in a lot of sightseeing and stuff too, but we were training two, three times every day over there. So, yeah. How did uh, I like the way you always call him the wee brother, Ryan? How, how did uh, how did Ryan find the training? Was it a good experience for him? Because he he's a uh, man on the up too, so he is. Yeah, uh, he's he's flying at the minute now. He he lives in the gym. Uh, he's he's just right. He won't be, he'll be nineteen in July, and you know he's got he's. He's got a big future ahead of him. I would, I would imagine that yep. if he just keep keeps going the way he is. He started M- MMA <laughs> a bit younger than what you did because you you were late to the to the actual sport. It was seventeen or eighteen there before yeah. you before you actually took it up and headed into jujitsu camp and and later Kenny <laughs> Dara. He started a wee bit or sorry Ryan has started a wee bit earlier, has he? Yeah, uh, so I I started when I was eighteen, and I think Ryan might have started six months after me. So he was he's six years younger than me. So. He was twelve or thirteen, um. So he's been he's been out a, a long time now as well. Yeah, it'd be nice to have the brothers on a bill for Bellator, wouldn't it? The Kelly brothers yeah. <laughs> could be going that way soon enough. Could be going yeah. that way. Hopefully so. Uh, so just finally then back to, to obviously the fight that you've got. Um, looking to go three and zero here on on under Bellator. What sort of performance is go- is it going to take, and what sort of performance are you expecting from yourself there on Saturday night? Um, well, I, I feel like I need to go in there and uh, and put on a good performance after my last one. Not not for anyone else, but more, more for myself, you know. Um, as I said, I wasn't happy with my last one, so I, I don't want to come out of there and feeling like I didn't do enough or I, I was sloppy. I just want to come out of there and uh, be proud of my performance. Uh, I think if I show up and stick to my game plan, you know, I don't think you'll have much for me, to be honest. I think I'll be too much for him. Um, I've just I've just got to stick to my guns now. Yeah, and there'll be a big Donegal support down, will there? Uh, a hundred and seventy-five coming down this time, so a wee bit quieter yeah. than usual. We'll we'll blame the Saturday night for that, as we've been more expensive. Uh, well, listen, it's uh, it's still a good number, and I'm sure they'll be very very vocal and they'll be, they'll be behind you all the way. Dara, it's always good to talk to you, and again, good to yeah. see you, and the ver- the very best of luck this weekend. We'll maybe catch up after the fight over the weekend. All right, thanks very much. That's brilliant, Lucy.